Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will understand what is the PM Gati Shakti mission launched by the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi few days back. What is the intention behind this mission and what is the expected impact it is all set to bring in the times to come in the ordinary lives of citizens like me and you. Apart from this, we will also understand why this is the right time to ground this mission as India thrives to speed up its potential of boundless growth and development in this decade and will burst some significant myths but before we kick start i would request you to please like share and subscribe the channel to remain updated about various mega projects in different regions of the country Prime Minister Gati Shakti National Master Plan has been launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi at Pragati Maidan, New Delhi. Prime Minister Gati Shakti Yojana 2021 is a master plan that would provide a leap to Atmanirbhar Bharat which is a dream of the government of India. The project would provide multimodal connectivity to boost the infrastructure development of the country. PM Gati Shakti mission has been planned to give momentum to various mega projects which are under various stages of implementation across Bharat. To decode this mission, let's understand through an example. Until now, you must have seen that developmental projects like road constructed in front of your house, locality or official buildings are mostly likely to be tilled several times even after construction of the smooth and robust road. One of the main reasons behind it is the poor coordination between various departments or an ordinary planning by the government officials which result in innumerable chaos and harassment for the local people residing in the region as continuous breaking of the same road to lay down for example drainage pipes, electricity wires etc also lead to wastage of taxpayers money. Learning from this significant mistake, government of India intends to break the silos between different different government departments and various stakeholders and bring everybody under the same roof before implementing any infrastructure projects on the ground. For example, if a mega transmission line is to be laid in a particular region, then department of IT can be onboarded so that they can access these transmission lines to implement their mega project of laying down optical fiber network cables, making use of the large wired poles. Therefore, it opens wide doors of opportunities for holistic and inclusive development benefiting large number of people and also saving millions of taxpayers money in the true sense of the term. This project would help in the improvement of national infrastructure by lending them more money and providing them with more speed. The projects under the $1.5 trillion national infrastructure pipeline would be included under PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan. The private players would also get a boost to invest in national infrastructure as easy clearance and monetary help would be available to them. This project would also provide last mile connectivity to economic zones in a definite time frame. Moreover, the Gati Shakti National Master Plan will subsume the Rs 111 lakh crore national infrastructure pipeline launched in 2019. The scheme has an ambitious plan to develop 11 industrial corridors and two new defense corridors in Tamil Nadu and Uttar Pradesh, expand the length of the national highway network to 2 lakh km, create 220 new airports, heliports and water aerodromes, provide 4G connectivity to all the villages and, and lay more than 17,000 of the gas pipeline network. For this, the National Master Plan will include 16 ministries including Railways, Civil Aviation, Petroleum, Meti, Shipping, Road Transport, Textiles and Food Processing at the initial stage. For the execution and planning, an empowered group of secretaries headed by the Cabinet Secretary will be formed for quick decision making and DIPP, Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, will be the nodal agency. The major aim of Gati Shakti is to provide India with the productive capacity boost it needs and global competitiveness with regard to the manufacturing sector. India needs to achieve its ambitious mission of becoming a $5 trillion economy which can be fulfilled if it gets a timely push for its project. PM Gati Shakti mission is all about timing and capacity building. India's projects were earlier a victim of inter-ministerial delays, multiple stakeholders and a culture to work in silos. This led to cost overruns and hampered decision making in turn delaying the projects and development for good. The Gati Shakti master plan would cut down such loopholes and consolidate the infrastructure projects in some specific corridors without getting into various long-timed approval processes. 
there would also be a geographical information system enabled digital system under gati shakti that would be useful for gathering relevant information on any regions topography satellite images and physical features this would help the ministries to save funds and approve projects timely as well speaking about some myths about the project that is circulating across the social media especially about the whooping cost of 100 lakh crores involved in the plan well we need to understand that the project will be implemented using the model of debt financing almost all the mega projects which are under various stages of construction are being funded by reputed international institutes like world bank group asian development bank jica which stands for japanese international cooperation agency Hence government of india gets these loans at very cheap rates from these institutions making these projects vulnerable proof from falling into the trap of foreign entities moreover there is also some controversy on the mega cost of 100 lakh crores well we need to understand that the total outlay is not something which is going to start recently rather all these mega projects are under construction from various years all it means is that the total cost including all the mega projects approximate 100 lakh crores the proper execution of the pm gati shakti scheme will help in removing the long standing issues such as disjointed planning lack of standardization problems with clearances etc not just this but a robust centralized system will bring clarity on how different regions and industrial hubs in the country are linked particularly for the last mile connectivity a holistic and integrated transport connectivity strategy will support make in india and integrate different modes of transport thus moving towards atmanirbhar bharat it will help the government to spend less on the logistics cost thus improving india's competitiveness in exports All in all the project aims to synchronize activities relating to infrastructure building in an area to help central and state agencies urban local bodies and the private sector to effectively coordinate plan and execute The project is also in line with India's effort towards achieving the sustainable development goal of creating quality infrastructure increasing economic activities in the country and generate employment on a large scale Coming to the end of this video let us be assured that the prime minister gati shakti if implemented rightly it is all set to change the face of india before the end of this decade please like share and subscribe the channel to remain updated about various mega projects in different parts of the country please drop down your reaction to this insightful video in the comment section given below thank you for watching this video jai hind